Welcome back. We are now moving on to more nerdy topics here. So if you're not a wrestling fan, sorry, but we had to throw a little wrestling in here. We're talking about the best sold and the worst sold finishers. Talking moves that just hurt, that look really painful, compared to ones that really are just oversold. And I know we know wrestling is staged and you're not supposed to get hurt, but come on, you got to be able to sell it. Me, personally, especially seeing it live in Hopkins, I think the Styles Clash done by AJ Styles is one of the best executed. Because, essentially, you're just face-planning them. I'm going to edit it right about here and put in the clip of him doing it in Hopkins. Come on. Come on. Get there. And we're going to come back from an edit. I just think execute. And he threw in the spike when we were in Hopkins because it yep. didn't have the legs. Just slammed him face first is nice. Yep. So in terms of the best sold, I think there's many good ones, but I love the Styles Clash. Yeah. What do you got? Um, I think I'm going to go with another AJ Styles move, the Dragon Rush that he did okay. in Japan Pro Wrestling. It's a modified, I wouldn't, it's, it's like a, it's an inverted devil driver, except for you hit your face and not the back of your head. We'll throw in a clip somewhere yep. over here. And, um. It was so da- it's like so dangerous. It's like along the lines of Seth Rollins' curb stomp. You know what I mean? Well, and they Where banned it, that. Like, they have banned these moves. <laughs> Which in, I love like, how there's a trophy for that counter in 2K16. Yeah. But we will never see that move we'll again. We'll never see that move again. But um, it's just like that's why they need. They, well, those rumors about signing AJ Styles need to be true. Yeah, he needs to show up at the Royal Rumble, as it's rumoring. But that's a yep. different topic. So, but another AJ Styles yep. move. Yep, the Dragon Rush. He's not the only person to do it, but he's the person to make it. Famous. Oh yeah, well, hell, CM Punk's uh, GTS. He's not the originator, but he man, made it famous. It's what it is. Yeah, we know you watch some wrestling. So, do you have a move that you've seen? Oh, that's yeah. just it's executed to the way where you think it looks bad. Well, not bad, but I mean, it looks like it would hurt. Yeah, um, I, it's hard not to just go with the obvious, but the Stone Cold Stunner, man, especially. You're like it's my second half. <laughs> it's just, it's such a, okay, well, Vince McMahon can't sell the Stunner. <laughs> He's not my target, but keep going. But what I'm getting at is people like The Rock. You know, when you get You're the... You're going to hate me real much. When you stun The Rock, you know, I just... He does the whole backflip and flops on his face, <laughs> and it looks great. All right. Yeah, You're in, and that's the concept of this. This is... that you, So you think that's just executed well? Yeah! Because the counterpoint of this argument, as we said, is moves that we think are sold poorly. And personally, I think the Stone Cold Stunner is pretty high up down there. And unfortunately, I have to reference The Rock in one clip in particular, which, if I can, edit it somewhere here. Where he does a whole freaking cartwheel backflip but, after getting stunned. Yeah. I've seen but putters. if your neck was like broken, wouldn't you be I'm not saying that like it would fish? hurt. I'm just saying how it's sold by certain people. Vince McMahon is like 70 now, so whatever. But The Rock, <laughs> I would think he could sell better. D- Diamond Dallas Page does a cutter. Randy Orton does the RKO. So I've seen cutters, which I personally think are good. Everyone's entitled. That's the idea. But I just think it's sold so poorly by... A lot of people. Add to spectacle when they go It is that. Well, it's like the people's elbow where he runs around and does all that, but all right. So since obviously your favorite soul is my least favorite soul, what's your least favorite soul? The, okay, The Rock again, because, uh, again, I'm going with obvious stuff. Oh, but yeah. The, the people's elbow. I'll give you that. Come on. Like, I like the show. I, well, li- I, I enjoy <laughs> go, yeah, I the show. The- but then you just elbow drop him. Come on. Well, it's like Hogan with the finish. leg drop, where, yeah, after all of his bells and whistles in the end, it is just a leg drop. Right. I, I, but it's it, the most electrifying move. Yeah, to give a, a broader <laughs> example, yeah, I pretty much don't like any finisher that's just a normal move. Oh, yeah. Oh, he does an elbow drop. There's a lot of people who do those, and they're just... They, if they're executed somewhat well, but no, most of them aren't. Mm-hmm. But, all right, so what, what do you got, then, for your... What do you think is sold the worst oh, or the worst man. executed? The worst executed move of all time is the pedigree, by far. No way! That was I, the one I was debating with, maybe <laughs> saying the I'm pedigree. I'm going with the pedigree. Yeah. It, it's not the worst, because it is essentially planting them on their face. So, so many people are, so many wrestlers, and I can say the obvious one here, and we'll I'm, shoot by it. By all means. Batista. He can't land on his well, ribs. Batista can't sell. I like it, Batista. I'm a fan of okay. him in the powerhouse. He can't sell much. But there's so many wrestlers. Hell, For instance, I'll go right. I'll go right into the Attitude Era when Triple H did it to Shawn Michaels. 
didn't sell. When he did it to the taker, it didn't sell. When he did it to Kane, every time he uses the move, 90% of the time, it doesn't sell. You know, and I think like one of my one of the times where I was just like, oh wow, that was a great pedigree is when he pedigreed John Cena through a table. And I was just well, like, anything the table, table for, made that. You know, know. I was just like, like that's just the point. Table. Like I have to reference the table being used. You know, in order for it to be like, oh, that actually sold well. You know, like sure there have been some some decent ones, but I've seen so many horrible ones that like it. When and you say yeah, worse, well, there's been good move, stunners, but. I've seen ones that just make me go. It's mmm. like I'm just like sorry, Triple H. I love you as a wrestler, but that move just sucks. <laughs> Do something different. And the fact that he's like, well, now you can use this move on somebody. And you now know, Seth so- Rollins, because he can't curb stomp, he's uh, well, he can't do much now. But that's a whole other story. He'll be out for a few more months. <laughs> but he adopted the pedigree, which I think. It's kind of dumb because I loved his high knee move that he was doing. Yeah. It was a simple move. It was kind of falls under those. It is a basic like, move, but it's a top rope spring, and he goes knee right to the head. Yeah. And hell, he broke John Cena's nose in real life with it. <laughs> Didn't mean to, but meh, things if happen. If I could uh, throw a shout out to another good one, that okay. I think uh, Finn Balor's coup de grace. Oh, yeah, yeah that's Finn a good Balor one. everything, but yeah, yeah. Uh, like, uh, he's yeah. That Finn guy's Balor's awesome. awesome and oh hell yeah! The name of the move, you know, the coup de grace is really cool. And oh, then that too, and just it's the see, way he gets his legs up so high that it really just in the whole concept of we know wrestling is designed not to get these people hurt. That's one of those few moves that I did debate with a little bit because. I can't see how that gets landed without it hurting every time, because yeah. he is essentially just stomping right on the abdomen, and right. as long as you miss the ribs, it's still going to hurt. <laughs> it's like Cesaro, when he does the Swiss driver in the corner, mm. where they're hanging, and he literally just jumps off the ropes and just plummets straight down. It's just like, man, if you even mess up in the, the slightest, mm-hmm. it, you're, <laughs> you're messing somebody's, like, your, your sternum or some rib... Neck, possibly. Yeah, man, it's just stuff like that. Like another quick shout out since you know, yeah. that is the end of days. The end. Okay, see that's and we'll we'll go we'll dive into that one because I have one more wrestling thing that we're gonna add. This this is, is the that, wrestling is episode. That Baron Corbin. Yes. Okay. I'm thinking. No. I'm. Well, oh, I'm thinking of uh, Ascension. Yeah. I'm thinking of their the finisher. fall of man. Fall of man is what I was thinking. Okay, the end of date. Baron Corbin. Well, I, we all know, unfortunately, I have a man crush on Baron Corbin. Like that move. I've met him. When, he's, when he he's does fucking it, fucking huge. When he does but, it, well, I love how when he does it, it's just how fluid it is because it's yeah. just whoop and boom. It's like the rose petal from Adam Rose, which is the the inverted <laughs> leg sweep. Like, yeah, it's everybody just a funny like name. it's been done before. I love but his he just too. does. <laughs> but the way he the way he makes the move look like I think there's a couple moves that like when that that move is just made for that person, you know. Because I was thinking of a different, I was thinking of the Ascension, so we're going to go into two more wrestling topics for this second show. This is the second half that I'm going to edit together, if I do it right. Um, Because I was thinking the fall of man. And Connor, the legal man. Road Dog knocked off the eight with a cheap shot. What do you think is a good two finisher? Because we got the 3D. Fall of man is good just because how they execute it, as simple as it is. And there, well, because we have that, we have the 3D and the Hardys. Like, is there any others that you've seen where it's two people executing a move together? Yep. I have one I could say, but the, a lot of the internet doesn't like his name. Go I was a it. huge fan of Chris Jericho doing the walls and Chris Benoit doing the Crippler crossface, the dual yeah. submission. Or the Molina the internet crossface. Hates, internet hates Chris Benoit. We can't mention his name, unfortunately. I, I mean, yeah. He, yeah. he, was, a good, he was a good wrestler. He was a good wrestler. wrestler. He, he had a bad yep. first life. But his, the combination of the walls of Jericho and the Crippler crossface for yep. a double team finish, I they, thought was insane. If they do the figure four leg lock, can you do the Dean Malenko style one? That was yeah. a good one. That's a good one, too. Um, actually, I'm going to go with the new one. The, uh, <laughs> the Lucha Surprise from the Lucha uh. Dragons. Well, they're just those guys are good. They're yeah, they're up in like, numbers. So. Or or the Uso bomb from the Usos, like oh well, the Uso bomb. You got the Hardys. They did combinations. You got yeah, those two like, dudes from ROH that were yeah. doing super kicks everywhere. <laughs> oh, Can't even I think did. of their names right now. <laughs> Six there super was, kicks in one move. Yeah, it, it was getting a little bit overused, but you know, it's what it was. Um, but no, like uh, my favorite. You you said the Fall of Man. I did because I was thinking of that. Really, would, really good. Like end of days got but, confused. Uh, <laughs> but um. Torito Ole from uh from the uh wow the the Mad- Los Matadores. Okay. The fact that they used the the third guy 
to like oh, the, spring yeah, down. the little. I haven't seen him in a while. As the bull, the bull you know, it's the like, El Torito. It's there we go. El Torito. Yeah. yeah. So it's like they used him the, a lot. The the, <laughs> the fact that they're able to incorporate their mascot into a move and it makes sense to me. Just it's just a cool little sell factor. That's all. I mean. It's either that or, or well, you know, the to, Lucha like, what's the point? So. Or the Lucha Dragons easily take it from the, the okay. spinning leg sweep. Oh, they had, yeah, they got some greats. Do you yeah. have any, uh, like, double team finishers you've seen something that... I'm not sure about a good one, but yeah, I... It's something that you like. <laughs> this is this is the personal opinion table. Uh, I table. <laughs> hated the Dudley boys. Never liked that the 3D? They did. Uh, well, it always was good through a table. That was their Well, their the, spiel. What was the one where he face planted the Oh, the what's up? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they still that do that. It was terrible. <laughs> it was always terrible. <laughs> what a stupid move. Well, that argues the whole concept of, like, is that deemed a low blow? Exactly. Like, <laughs> but I get it. I get it. The Hardys did one, too, where oh, the he did off with the, the leg drop. His, yeah. his heels hit the abdomen. But, no, it's just a low blow. But all right, so okay, so but you don't have a really a favorite one. You said uh, that. Yeah, I, I don't really know cool. very many. Of I know those. you're not the biggest wrestling fan, but you mm-hmm. know enough that I figured you could. You have some stuff to contribute. Yeah, right. I'm gonna throw an old school one here just as a side in the APA sweeping mm-hmm. uh, clothesline from hell when he did the combination. Yeah. yeah. When Farouk did the the spinning trip and oh, yeah, Bradshaw just, did the freaking clothesline. I'm wondering from if hell. the Fall Man had a little inspiration from that where he sweeps yep. and hits them. So yep. Just throws more of a spinning. Uh, yep. Cesaro elbow into it. Yeah. Oh, man. It was... You know, and that's funny. Like, another... T- you just brought up another uh, one. There's a lot. There's The history. Swiss swing into the Tyson leg drop. See, I don't like Cesaro that much. The swing is annoying. But when you do throw in Tyson Kidd doing a drop kick... Yeah, or as, what, what is it that the commentators always say? It's not the spin that's going to kill you. It's that sudden it's stop. stop. Yeah. I will give him credit because, oh, like, man. it doesn't look like it hurts too much. But, but man, still, it's cool. <laughs> it is a, spectac- or a spectacle. There we go. Yep. Just seeing the spin. So, all right. Yeah, that's yeah. That would be the last one I would add in. That's just kind of like you don't see stuff like and, that all yeah. the time, and it works. <laughs> we're gonna go a very simple topic. What do you think is the most? Since we're still on the wrestling, obviously for this wrestling episode, and we're gonna exclude one person only because I know you and me will say him as soon as I say this. What do you think is the most theatrical entrance? And we're excluding Finn Balor only because of how insanely good they are. Like, just over-the-top so, visuals. Finn Balor's just in his own He's, category Finn Balor up here. is up here. We're talking about these And guys. if you saw him at the recent NXT London show where he came out as the whole Jack the Ripper thing, he is in his whole other world for that <laughs> entertainment entrance. And, like, Undertaker's kind of right there, too, so if we can, we'll keep him out. 90s Gold Dust, by far. Going go- gold Dust no, has always had their great entrances. 90s Gold Dust, right. by far. As much, like, I'm, I'm torn whether I want to hate him or love him, but Bray Wyatt's entrance and how he's getting all the fans, the Fireflies, to yeah. do what they're doing is, he's got something that's going great for him. Like, I, it's just, we've seen it live multiple times. Yeah. When you see that, when you see all those lights, doom, which again, doom, doom, if I have doom, the clip somewhere on my computer, it'll be edited doom, right about here. Oh like, just the visual of all of that going on. As simple as it is, just him and his little lantern. Yeah. It's just, oh my god. Yeah, it's it's captivating. Um, I'll add one more here. Mm-hmm. Sting, when he actually oh. came to wrestle, the core flock of the Ravens okay. was amazing. Um, the way they, they lit, like they were in the middle of broad daylight oh, yeah. for his first match. And first first match ever? Oh, are we talking when no, his first match? No, first match in the WWE. Okay, so his, like, his one against Triple H? That's yeah, was, okay, yeah, at WrestleMania. I was just trying to remember. They were in the middle of broad daylight, and they well, yeah, made it, it the look stadium. like they made it look like it was pitch black. And uh, like the way they did the Ravens and everything, I was like, oh, yeah. that was really cool. On a quick counterpoint to that, Triple H's entrance at that same event was dumb. Exactly. They were trying so hard to push the was whole... Was that the Terminator thing? Yep. yep. Oh. They were pushing the Terminator promotion yep. so hard, and like it's just all the Terminator statues and him with our. It's just no. It did. I get it, but no. Can it you was imagine so having been nine though? It oh yeah, been if, the I, if you're thing then, uh, yeah. You're As a right. kid, I will give you that. But it's just <laughs> seeing it is like I understand that's your pre-order bonus and you want to push it, but. No, <laughs> I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> the video like gamer it. and you had spoken. No, Although, no, as much as I hate it, and we'll get into that at a, maybe another time, as much as I hated that as a pre-order bonus, the trailer they did for that was awesome, though, mm-hmm. with yeah. the whole remake in the original oh, yeah, Terminator yeah. scene. Um, I think I'll add one more funny yeah. theatrical one. This is going back some years. When the, so it was at kind of like the same time. I'll add two. P- 
people who ride vehicles into the ring. Oh, okay, so we can put the Undertaker back on because I know where you're going. Yep. Not the new age Undertaker, yep. but we're talking the American Badass. Yeah, American Badass. Oh, and he came out with a hardcore title around his neck yeah. and just the yep. Harley down there? Hell yeah. That was pretty cool. Did his laps. My, but my favorite one of all time with that is when Stone Cold Steve Austin came in on top of a beer truck oh, okay. and sprayed beer oh, all over on. the ring. Kurt Angle, in response later on, did the milk truck. <laughs> yeah. Didn't Dean Ambrose do a, a, a vehicle thing? He's done an ambulance too? once when him he, and Bray Wyatt had a whole story. he come in with like an ice cream truck or something? He, he came, came in with, with an ice cream cart. cart. Oh. Hot dog cart. That was great. great. That was and then for was, Coney yeah. Island Day. Right. And then he was throwing hot dogs at the authority and... <laughs> That was pretty good. Ambrose is easily into my his own. current favorite wrestler. Oh yeah, he is definitely coming into his own. For the most part, though, I don't really like entrances that are vehicle assisted. Oh, I've yeah. always thought the American Badass thing was super dumb. Eh, yeah. Personally, I mean, uh, I just, it's Undertaker. I think there's a couple of people who kind of did it right, like Latino Heat. Well, yeah, well, you know, and then you have people like Alberto Del Rio came out with a new car every week. JBL came out in his limo. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's JBL, you know, like yeah, unfortunately. But for me, if you if we can't say we're taking Balor, Balor off, and, we're and you taking... already took Bray Wyatt, so but if you agree with Wyatt, I, that is your choice. I guess uh, I, I agree with Bray Wyatt. I'll say that first of all. But then I guess like um, I always liked how Edge and Christian came in through the audience. Okay, and because every time it was an event, it was yeah. like, oh, where you know their music's playing. Where are they? And all the cameras start swinging around. So at least like, now with Roman Reigns, and even when the Shield did it. We know where they are. They're coming from here and here. Yeah, yeah. but it started with but, E and C. Yeah, but they came, and they came in random. Oh yeah, like, they're like, hey, all the time. Hey, or, <laughs> yeah, even if they didn't, the editing sure made it look that way. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's simple, but, uh, okay. but I, I, it was exciting every time. If you can't tell, I watched wrestling a lot during the Attitude Era. Oh yeah, and, that and I know you took a big time <laughs> off, and then you started back. That's why I figured yeah. we'll include you with this because we're doing this for you. So yeah, thanks for watching uh, both episodes. Hope you enjoyed them. If not, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Again, <laughs> fellow Extreme Hardcore Nerd Mike, and we got Jake with his channel. Has a name, there's it's Dash something, because my memory's retro. so bad. Oh, we're the Super Retro Bros. There we go. Yeah, super retro I want to plug them, too. Good so, man. Super Retro Bros, be for sure to check out. He's got a whole video game discussion series coming. That's why we're at his place filming it. Until next time, hopefully you like this, and hopefully we'll do more. Later.